my top three acceleration exercises for sprinting and speed development, banded A runs, heavy resisted sprints, and sled bounding, as well as two bonuses at the end. In this video, I'm gonna take you through each exercise, why I do them, how to do them, how I coach and instruct them, my coaching cues and sets and reps and where they fit into a program. Let's do it. But first, let's take a step back and talk about the big rocks and foundations of acceleration in general. Number one, really big shapes, big knees, big elbows. Number two, specifically getting the knee up high in front of the body. Number three, horizontal, forwards, covering ground, shooting the hips forwards every step. And last is to continue accelerating. Banded A run, first, how to do it. So A run, A position, knee up, toe up, and think high knees, trying to hit that position every single step. Walk out to where the band is kind of tight, not impossible. Then I like to put my pen or a tennis ball or something like that as something to shoot for to stay in front of. Next, the two reasons why I love the banded A run. Number one is it simplifies things. It takes away that actually moving forwards horizontal component. And second, is it self-organized? There's only a very small radius of where the athlete can foot strike underneath their hips in this down and back foot strike to fight the band to keep their balance and keep going. And next, you have to hit a super nice A position, knee up, toe up, to hit the ground well for it to hit you back. Last, how the banded A run fits into a speed program. Sets and reps are very simple. You can go for as many steps as possible while hitting this position in X amount of time, or you can say 20 steps as fast as possible. Anywhere two to three sets, whether it's paired, superseted with an actual sprint, or it could be used at the end of a workout as a speed finisher. Next, heavy resisted accelerations. And when I say heavy, I mean 50% velocity decrement. It means you're sprinting at half of your unresisted speed. Time yourself however long it takes to sprint 10 yards unresisted, and to achieve 50% velocity decrement sprinting at half your speed, that 10 yards should take twice as long. So time every resisted rep and keep adding weight or taking off weight until it takes twice as long as the unresisted rep. The heavier we resist, the closer to the beginning of a sprint we're working on. It's almost like doing the first one, two, three steps over and over again for the entire 10 yards. Big shapes, aggressive, really trying to project and shoot forwards with a low heel recovery. Sets and reps of our heavy accelerations, very simple. Anywhere four to six reps, 10 yards total, a good two minutes rest in between. Sled bounding, how to do it? Well, first, bounding itself, one foot to the other foot as far as you can every time. And with the sled, just pushing it while bounding. In order to do it smoothly and effectively for 10 yards, you have to do a lot of things right. Come up to a big A position, strike down and back, get big up in front with the knee, and really push. Cues for sled bounding are going to be jumping forwards, big flight time, small ground time, low heel recovery up to a high big A position, and going as far as you can, jumping, sets and reps of sled bounding and how it fits into a speed program. One rep of sled bounding, anywhere 10 to 15 yards, anywhere four to six reps, and if it's supersetted with unresisted sprints, two reps of sled bounding, one or two unresisted sprints, just going back and forth for three rounds total. Bonus, push-up starts. And there's three main variations of the push-up start, the two go, the one go, and from the ground. The main coaching cues for this, or how to do it, is you're gonna be in this push-up position. If it's two go, the coach says go once, they go twice, that's when you run. The one go would be in this push-up position. The coach says go, and they go from there. The last one is laying on the ground. When they say go, you get up and you sprint right away. So sets and reps for this, typically anywhere five yards, 10 yards is a great place to start. You can do it with a coach saying go. You can do it with a tennis ball drop. They have to get it and catch it before it bounces twice or a partner reaction race. The last bonus is simply just well rested accelerations. In order to hit the speeds fast enough to make speed gains, 95% plus of your best, well you have to be recovered enough to actually hit those speeds. 10 yards sprinted hard equals one minute rest, or just a very slow walk back usually lines up. 